This type of shopping is becoming the old way of doing things. E-commerce is nipping at the heels of brick and mortar retail sales. That's because online retailers know you better. They can track your every move, what we like, what we buy, and how we shop. But a new heat mapping technology called PRISM is evening the playing field for brick and mortar stores like Rachel Sheckman's. I think we're on the edge of retail Armageddon, which might be a little bit extreme, but I do think, you know, what would Amazon be without insights and analytics? If you can't track them while they shop, customers might as well be invisible. There I am, trying you're, on some glasses. In that screen, that. PRISM figured out how to use security cameras to capture shoppers' motions, what they touched, which way they entered, and which areas they like most. Is red good or bad? Red is busy. The same way that Amazon or all these big online guys understand their customers through what they do and what they click and what they go on, the retailers need to understand that as well. So we give that same kind of data. There's about 25 things on this table. How do you know what people are picking up? Looking so when you're at? looking at the map, it will give you a sense, right, of where the most action is. So kind of look at that, then pull the skews here, look at sales and say, you know what? This journal's not selling and maybe it's because this sign is right in front of it. So I think we might have to pay, play a little bit of uh, retail Tetris. Retailers can access Prism's platform in real time, which helps them make quick adjustments to a store's layout or placement and price of an item. What is it about that corner of the store where people are lingering, but we have the lowest sell through? Anything a retailer can do to learn about how people are engaging in their space, then it says something, you know? Prism's clients range from supermarkets to furniture stores to big tech retailers. Now that ability alone from a retailer just to make sure that all my stores kind of conform and check on it is an action that's going to increase sales if everyone's executed properly or it's going to save costs because I didn't need to travel around 20 stores to do that. Because retail is a real life thing that's happening every minute. So every minute you don't change something in a retail, you've probably missed an opportunity.